Julie Whippy. I've been with PRS for 14 years. I am currently the final assembly manager and I'm going to walk you through the electronics department and tell you a little bit about what we do here. Um, we start right here with Emrin and Emrin has been here also about 14 years and what she is doing is she's wiring up all of our drop-ins. Uh, what we do is we put our volume tone and our pickup control together ahead of time along with uh, claws, tremolo arms, and anything that we don't feel like doing while we're actually in the guitar and she saves us a whole lot of work this way. Having one person do this for a very long time, we have a, a high consistency and I think a high quality that is unmatched anywhere else. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take it down the line here. Uh, this here is Mike. Mike has also been with us about 14 years. And Mike is running our wire cutting and stripping machine. This machine here saves us a whole lot of work. He's running our building wire, which goes on all of our rotary pickups. So rotaries we are pretty well known for. Um, Mike here does a little bit of everything in electronics. And we're going to take you over here to Christine Phelps. And Christine's been with us quite some time also, and what she is doing is she is putting on the lead wires to our pickups. So she wraps those on there, and then at some point she's going to solder that up. She's going to tape those up. She's going to take this test meter here, and she's going to test this to make sure this is right. Um, these pickups will be tested probably several times before they finally make it into a guitar. Um, but she will test them. And this gentleman right here, Brian, he is actually working on pickup bases at the moment, but he would also be a part of this assembly line process where he would slug and screw these coils and he would test them again to make sure that everything is working properly. What he's doing right here is saving us some, some work also. This is a pickup base before it gets the coils on it, before it gets the magnets. Or it's wired so this is really kind of where it all starts at and unfortunately we don't actually have our winding machines in this area you really get to see where it all starts at because we wind all of our pickups in-house i'm going to take you down to nancy dennis here nancy is our trainer she's been with prs for about 10 years now she trains everybody who comes through the door in this section and what she's working on right now are our tremonti pickups these are very very hot pickups so you say very very popular through the accessory shop and what she does when she gets them, she takes our coils and those pickup bases that you saw here, she's going to put the coils on there, she's going to put the magnets on, she's going to wire everything up, she's going to test it, and she's going to wax pot it, which would take us over here to Carrie. And Carrie's right in the middle of that process. What Carrie has done before we went in the wax pot, was she put on our pickup cover, which is a little hard to see right now because we have tape on there and I don't want to take that off of there. But she solders on that pickup cover. She puts that in the wax pot. And what that does for us, oh, thank you. What that does for us is that keeps this pickup from feedbacking when we get that over to the amplifier. It puts a layer of wax in there that keeps that sympathetic vibration from making too much noise. One of the other things that we also do is we will vacuum hot coils, not just the, um, the pickup itself, but the coils on the pickup base. And what that does is that keeps that pickup from becoming microphonic. So it seals up all the coil windings. Now, when Carrie gets done doing what she's doing, it's going to take a little while for these to cool down and get a proper reading on them. She's going to test these again and make sure everything is what it should be. She's going to test the magnetic polarity. She's going to wrap those up and put stickers on there to say what they are and put them in a cabinet so the assembler can come get that and put that into the guitar. We do a few other odds and ends in electronics, but pretty much that is what we do here. We take care of all the electronic ends so that way when the assembler gets it, it's pretty much a put it together operation. We're here with our uh, winding machines and we're going to go ahead and walk you through the process of winding a pickup coil. Mary here is getting ready to load up our machine. Um, this is just one of our CNC winders. It's actually one of our newest ones. Um, we came to do CNC winding machines because we found that was much more accurate and consistent than what we were doing before, which was actually going back to the old ham winders um, and basically what was a crock pot. So we've definitely moved along in our technology over the years. Um, a CNC winder is really, in a, it's amazing in its ability to produce a consistent result. Our tension is consistent, our um, speed is consistent, it allows it to not stretch the wire as much as it would on something that does not have its consistency. Um, this is much faster, you would be amazed to see how much faster it is to wind a coil.